Hey guys, welcome to this video. Here we're gonna look at setting up your client groups within XBM. Now the reason we have client groups is a way to group entities together that have the same uh, shareholders or directors. So for example, we might have a client who has two companies and a trust. Rather than just having those float around, uh, not associated with each other, we can put them all into a group and when we go and do the work, we can make sure that we're doing the whole group at the same time. And groups become particularly important when we look at uh, doing a profitability analysis because uh, what is quite common is you'll have the main entity that pays the accounting fees on behalf of all the other entities. So particularly trusts. Trusts often don't have uh, revenue coming in, so the main entity will pay for the trust. When we set up our jobs, we're setting these, you know, every entity will have its own job. We don't group them into one job. What's gonna happen if we're on a monthly recurring billing model, those bills are gonna get sent to that main entity and then we're gonna have the trust and other companies incur costs. So by putting them in a group, we can actually run a profitability report by the group. So we'll have the cost of each of the organizations and all of that revenue is bundled into one of those clients. So it's a really good way to bundle it all together. So uh, let's jump into XPM now and I'll take you through how to set groups up. So here I am on the job manager dashboard. So I wanna to go to clients. And you'll see that um, all these clients that I've got here are different from the previous video. I'm making them this video a couple months later after the other ones I've done. Uh, I've ended up setting up a new trial and doing some extra videos. So that's, that's why, my, why my clients look different. But what we're gonna do here is set up a group. So to do that, I'm gonna set a group up for Anderson and Bros. So if I go new group, we'll call it Anderson and Bros as the group. Taxable group, that means are, are they, um, are they uh, taxable? Yes. Save. So what that means is uh, when we send invoices, do we include goods or services tax on it? So you do whatever is relevant. Go to the clients, and then I'm gonna go right, Anderson and Bros is the company, and then Anderson Family Trust. We're gonna go add to group. And if we start typing in Anderson Bros, it'll pop up there. Tick that, and then go add. Just like that. So now if we go to groups, you can see that we've got our group there, and if I click into it, It'll show me all of the uh, companies that are related to that group. So, and also what we can do is if we go to the client, click into Anderson Bros, you'll see down here, you'll see that's added to this group here, Anderson Bros. So, that's how you set your groups up. So it's really simple, really. You just go and create a new group and then you go and find the relevant organizations and then add them to the groups. Now, uh, you can obviously import these uh, as when you did your client import uh, by putting the group name when you do that CSV import. But if you have missed doing that, that's how you go and set them up manually. And as I said, it's really important to make sure this is done when we get into setting up our billing for later. So go ahead and do that and I'll see you in the next video.